Hi everybody, I'm Leah of CJ Drill and I'm standing in front of my beautiful home. <laughs> Maybe it's not that beautiful, but it's my home and I'm having an issue, a little bit of an issue with the front door. Here's the deal. Let's go to the door. Let me show you what's up. Okay, so here's the problem. This was a problem I was having and this is how I fixed it. I don't know if you've noticed, but there are two door viewers on this door. I just installed this one. And the reason was I got I got little ones in the house and they couldn't see out of the top door viewer. And it was creating like a safety issue for us in this house. Maybe you have small ones around your house and you'll want to do the same. And even if you don't, the process of how to install a door viewer is going to be the same no matter what height you set it at. So I'm going to walk you through the process. I'm going to show you the tools you need and I'm going to show you how easy it is to do. Let's get started. Okay, I want you to be able to see what the door viewer looks like. You know, a lot of people call it a peephole, okay? Either word will work. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it apart so you can see how this is all going to work out. Now, this uh, door viewer, it fits a door that's one and three eighths inch to two and an eighth inch. Just make certain that the door viewer you purchase is going to accommodate uh, the door thickness that you may have. So what we'll do is we'll insert one side of the viewfinder on one side of the door, the other on the other side of the door, then we'll start to tighten it and then it will just snug up to both sides depending upon the thickness of the door. What you're going to need for this job is really, really simple. You're going to need a drill and you're going to need the appropriate size drill bits. Now I've got a small drill bit here. It's just an eighth of an inch. I'm going to use this as my pilot hole. And then I've got a larger drill bit that's going to accommodate the size of the door viewer. Okay, so we're at the door here. I've already made my mark. I've determined, well, how tall my son is and where his eye is going to meet, right? So there's our mark. Now I'm going to make my pilot hole. Okay, so I'm going to start my pilot hole. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue through. I'm going to drill through the door in its entirety because we're going to come out the other side and guess what? That's going to be our mark. That's going to tell us where we need to drill with the larger bit. We've got our second drill bit, right? Now I'm going to line it right up with that pilot hole, and now I'm going to make the larger hole. Now, what I've done is I haven't drilled through to the other side. When you're installing one of these uh, door viewers, you want to make certain that you drill from both sides of the door. That way you're going to get a nice clean opening. Now I'm going to repeat the process on the other side. I'm going to place that bit right there in the pilot hole, and now I'm going to start drilling. Okay, so there's our hole. It's all ready to go. It's the perfect size. And now what we're going to do is we're going to insert the back side of the uh, door viewer. Now keep in mind that you want to make certain that you insert the right side. So look through it first, all right? You don't want people looking into your home, right? You want to be able to look out. Now I'm going to take the front piece and I'm going to install it in the front of the door. Okay, so I'm going to put it there and I'm going to start the threading process, but I'm going to have to tighten it up from the other side. There we go. We've got it going. And then once I get it kind of snugged up, I'll go to the other side and tighten it with a appropriate tool. Okay, so now we're going to tighten it up. We've snugged it up, but now let's just tighten it up so it's nice and secure. So if you notice, there's a slot here and a slot here, you'd never be able to get a screwdriver to tighten this thing up because it's just, it's too broad, right? So I'm just going to use a putty knife. You can use anything that you can find that's going to span that distance. Okay, so that's, I gotta tell you, that's nice and snug. Sometimes it'll help if you got somebody holding uh, from the other side holding the, the eyepiece in place while you tighten it, okay? But that's nice and secure. And so it's just that simple. It took maybe 10 minutes to do. I gotta tell you, if you like this video, we've got 150 other videos. I would encourage you to go to the C. Jane Drill website where all our videos are free and you can find just about any home improvement video you may need. 
And if we don't have it there, guess what? You can request one. This is Leah saying, you can do this. See you next time.